again. We acknowledge the original inhabitants of this place, the Snohomish peoples and their successors, the Tulalip tribes, who since time immemorial have taken care of, hunted, fished, and gathered on these lands. We respect their sovereignty, their right to self-determination, and we honor their sacred spiritual connection with the land and water. By acknowledging these homelands, we are also committed to working with tribal nations to further the educational aims that we've identified in our classrooms and schools. Um, so just for everyone to know, we will be recording this meeting um, so that families who are unable to attend tonight can watch it later at our YouTube channel. Um, and so that will start very soon, if not right now. So just, I invite everybody to do something to make yourself more comfortable. This is a really fun night for me. I love talking about kindergarten. It is uh, uh, just an, an adventurous and fun time. Um, so sit back in your couch snuggle up with your animals, pull a blanket over your legs. Those are all the comforts that you have of not sitting in a, in a preschool classroom to hear this, but in your homes. So why did we come together tonight to talk? Well, we're gonna provide you with some, um, some pretty basic information about the transition to kindergarten for families who have special education services. Um, we hope to answer any questions that you have partner with you, collaborate with families and encourage that. And we're also here to celebrate this amazing, fun milestone that is going to kindergarten. I was a kindergarten teacher for many years. All my favorite uh, memories of teaching were in kindergarten. It's an amazing milestone, but I also understand that it, it, it can be a little worrying. Your, your preschool babies are going off to kindergarten and that can be a little scary but kind of a fun scary. So we're here to help you through that um, and answer any questions that you have. So just to give you a little idea of where we're going, uh, we'll do some introductions so you can understand who's on the call. Um, we'll also talk about how you can find your child's neighborhood school, what that transition to kindergarten, um, what you can expect from it. Uh, we'll talk about what special education services look in kindergarten and developmental kindergarten and then we'll make sure to save some time for your questions at the end. And Carly, feel free to stop me if we've got any questions that we really need to answer right now, we can answer them or, or um, hold on to them and answer them at the end. Um, so like I said, my name is West Keller, he, him. I'm a manager of special programs and the principal of Alderwood Early Childhood Center. And my name is Carly Klein, pronouns she, her. And I am a program manager for special education services with Edmonds School District. And I am, um, good evening, everybody. My name is Libby LeCompte, she, her, and I am a kindergarten teacher at Woodway Center. We would usually have one of our developmental kindergarten teachers on our call with us tonight. Unfortunately, we, we couldn't find anyone who um, could make the schedule work, uh, but they are available to answer questions and we may be able to set up a forum if there are lots of questions about developmental kindergarten that we're, that we're not able to answer. So just as a, a little way to get into the space of being in the kindergarten classrooms, um, uh, take a chance to say hello. If your name is not changed on your, on your Zoom meeting, you can go ahead and put your name there if you would like to, and either unmute yourself or type into the chat your earliest memory of, of school. I will start with my earliest memory, uh, which is that I got in trouble for using some rather adult words on one of my first days of kindergarten. I didn't know that these were the bad words. And as I remember, I was just listing off all of them that I knew. So it wasn't like I said one, but I just was telling one of my friends all the adult bad words I knew in kindergarten. So we'll take a moment for everyone just to share a little bit with us some of their earliest memories of kindergarten. If you'd like to unmute or type into the chat, either, is, either would be great. Oh, thank you, Carly. You shared with us walking to school with your friends. So, thank you, Jennifer, <laughs> sharing that her husband got shoved into a trash can. I can almost imagine that as a cartoon. Wow, Smokey the Bear came to your classroom. Thank you, Heather.
Uh, <laughs> the wrong, the wrong school. To, I, I bet, I bet you've had some uh, dreams or nightmares about accidentally taking the wrong school to bus, even after all these years. Playing a triangle. I can just about hear it. Oh, thank you so much for everyone. I'll keep I'll keep um, going back to these and reading them. Thank you everyone for for sharing some of your earliest memories um, of kindergarten. Like I said, it is a really special time. Uh, my daughter just finished is in the middle of her kindergarten year. I know Carly's daughter is also in in the kindergarten year, and it is just so amazing. And uh, we're here to answer any of your questions, like we said, and to just give you some information that will hopefully make you feel better and get really excited about next year because it is an ex in, uh, a really exciting time. So who is eligible for kindergarten or who's kindergarten ready? Any students are, who are ready for kindergarten um, if they turn five by August 31st of 2022. So if you're, um, son or daughter or other is five now, or they turn five before August 31st or on, then they would be ready for kindergarten. Um, and as long as they reside within the boundaries of the Edmond School District, um, then they would be um, headed to kindergarten. So for as far as general education um, information on how to register, um, if your IEP team has discussed general education um, with resource, the first day of registration was March 1st. Um, to get to that page, we'll do a web tour in just, just a moment. Um, and just to give folks a little bit of, of background, all students who go to Alderwood Early Childhood Center or Woodway Center in either our developmental preschools or ECAP programs are currently registered in the Edmonds School District. If you have discussed general education with resource support with your current IEP team, you would be going to your home school. We'll, we'll also do a web tour to show you how to get to those and find out what your home school is as well as any forms if you are interested in exploring a choice or a different school. Um, the registration was March 1st. If you haven't done anything right now, don't worry. Like I said, everyone is already registered. Um, I did have a meeting with um, Dr. Helen Jung today. Uh, we are hoping to automatically roll all students up into kindergarten and we will provide some more information about that very soon. If you've already gone to your home school and picked up a packet, there can be no harm done by filling out that packet either in person or online. So how do you find out where your home school is? Oops, got a little ahead of myself here. So we're going to go Give me one second to find something that will make it a little easier for folks to see. So you go to the main Edmonds website, which is edmonds.wednet.edu. If you type that in or type in Edmonds schools, it will usually bring that to you. And then you're going to look around and find the families tab here. So I hope, hopefully you can see a little red dot hovering over families. Click on the Families tab, and then you'll see right about in the same spot, there's a, um, the letters for kindergarten. So if you click on kindergarten, that will be most, if not all, the information that you need, including um, the registration in several different of our languages spoken. Uh, once again, the age requirements. Um, and then here is our neighborhood school finder. So if you click here, this will take you to our school finder. One tr very tricky thing about this is that you need to make sure that you only use your house number. So it says here, so if you're looking up 1234 Main Street, just enter the house number. Um, you go to the front page, click on families, and then on kindergarten, um, and this is the neighborhood school finder. For developmental kindergarten? Oh, Maria has a question. If you live in an apartment, it, so any of the um, apartments by, 
by that street number would go to those schools as well. So the apartment unit number um, wouldn't matter as much as the just the house number. So it would go by house number. Um, if you and your IEP team have discussed developmental kindergarten as an option, your student will automatically be registered at the school where they attend uh, developmental kindergarten. So your case manager or principal will discuss the location of services with you prior to the end of school. We anticipate that we will have those done and ready to get to you um, by mid to the end of May. Right here are the locations for our developmental kindergartens. They're currently at Spruce, Woodway Center, Linwood, Edmonds, and Cedar Valley. So these classrooms are a combination of time in the developmental kindergarten and in the general education kindergartens at these schools uh, where the IEP team will uh, discuss and um, talk about what times would be the best for your student to enter the general education environment. Um, and we'll have some examples of schedules that aren't going to um, necessarily be the exact schedule for all students, but might give you an idea of what they would look like. Libby, do you mind coming on and talking to us about some of the important dates since you've got a, a little bit of information and experience with the, with the Jumpstart and the Family Connection meetings? Yeah, sure, I'm happy to. Um, hi, everybody. Um, I'm super excited to be already thinking about next year, except for <laughs> I do really love summer, so I don't want to think about it too soon. Um, yeah, Jumpstart is a really incredible opportunity. It's um, August 22nd through the 25th, which I just found out right then that that's when it is. <laughs> um, but all of our kindergarten classrooms across the district um, is are open and we have all the children uh, come to kindergarten half days for four days a week and just to get to know their building and get to know some of the staff so that that first day of school is more comfortable for them. Um, we do have the kindergarten first day is actually a delayed start because we have family connection meetings. So we have our jump start. And then uh, following the jump start, we have three days. The first three days of school for the rest of the district is our family connection meetings, where we meet with every family and just hear about who your child is, where they've come from, what your hopes and dreams are for them, and how we're going to um, team together during the year to uh, to make it a great experience for everybody. And then our first day of school, I guess, is September 12th, three days after everybody else's. Anything else you want me to share? No, that was great. Thank okay. you. <laughs> um, and our kindergarten welcoming sessions will be scheduled by the school. Um, I, I think that uh, there's some new information um, coming up very soon about whether those will be in person or on Zoom or both. And those will be scheduled by the school. So if when you find your homeschool, it might be a good idea to bookmark that page, check back every couple of weeks to see when they come. I believe um, they usually happen towards the end of the year and some of them do choose to do them um, right before the beginning of the year. If uh, you're not seeing um, a date there, you can always call the school's main line and talk to the office assistant or the office manager to ask them when they're planning on having that. Carly, do you want to talk about um, spe what special education services look like? Sure, and I'm getting a chat that the ASL interpreter may not be visible to all. So, um, Dina, can you please ask to make sure that that people are able to see you? It looks like they maybe are just seeing Anna's screenshot. Or Anna, can you hop back I've on got, and check? I've got Vivian on here is saying that she can see me. Oh, okay. okay. People that need it. So Vivian says she sees it. Yeah, it's really easy, she said. Great. Thanks, Vivian. I appreciate that check. OK, so special education services. So the school that your child is registered with will automatically have access to your student's IEP. And the case managers will be in contact. Our preschool case managers know our developmental kindergarten and our um, resource programming case managers and have opportunity to interact around the incoming uh, kindergartners. 
If your student receives special education and transportation to AECC, it is likely that that will continue. Students who are enrolled in our resource programming or in, in general education kindergarten are less likely to access busing. Students in developmental kindergarten programming more typically receive busing, but it is absolutely available to all. And it's an IEP discussion unless it's your neighborhood school. If it's your neighborhood school and you are within um, or outside of the two mile boundary, then you receive access to busing as well. I see a couple questions coming up, so I'm gonna pause. So Jay is asking, when will I know if my student is going into general kindergarten or developmental kindergarten? So Jay, that should be a conversation with your case manager at Alderwood Early Childhood Center. And it's perfectly reasonable to reach out by email or phone to ask that question now. And they will, you know, if that decision or conversation is already happening, that's great, they'll loop you in. And if it's not, they can let you know when to anticipate that. Usually, uh, I always uh, talk with our teachers, it's never too early in this year to, to start talking about kindergarten. So you may have had some preliminary conversations about this, but if you're feeling like, oh, I missed something, it's not too late. A lot of the confirma uh, confirmations around which program will happen in May during our conferences, but you should know whether your IEP team is leaning more towards uh, developmental kindergarten or kindergarten um, now or soon. So I, yes, I would reach out to your, the case manager that would almost, uh, that would most likely be the, the lead teacher in your classroom. So teacher Colleen, teacher Beth, Erica, Mai, whoever your lead teacher is. Um, and if that's not the case, or you're unsure who your case manager is, um, I'll make sure to leave my email and phone number at the end so we can um, connect and I'll get you hooked up with your case managers. And then there's a question too from William about um, if your home school, if your neighborhood school doesn't have a developmental kindergarten, are you assigned a school or do families choose? So William, so, our, um, our uh, district special education department works to assign programming for developmental kindergarten. And there are lots of factors that we think about. Um, and one of the very first is closest to neighborhood. It's important to us that kids stay in their local communities. Um, for kindergarten and elementary school and middle school, we want them to build relationships um, with people that, that they live near. And so that's, that's our starting place always. Because our, our student services team has worked to spread the developmental kindergarten programs as, out as much as possible to fit the needs of those um, specific geographic locations. Um, so the, the placement or the program is decided by the IEP team and then the location of where that program, the DK is, is then chosen by, um, um, by our leadership and student services. If that's, um, if that school's not the school that you would like to go to, there is an option to apply for a choice variance or a, um, a location change. Um, and um, if that's the case, further down into May, you can connect with, um, with either uh, myself or your case manager to ask about um, those um, forms. Okay. Libby, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and see if we have a, a little less busy. I wonder, if, I wonder if maybe refresh, because I had put that at the very end. <laughs> Let's try. Let's let's try refreshing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It should be before the crazy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so Libby is going to talk with us a little bit about what you can expect in a general education um, um, kindergarten as well as a developmental kindergarten. So I'm trying to find a way to. Um, scroll through these without having to do the entire make everyone dizzy. Uh, but I think I might need to do that. Oh, there it is. No. No. It'd be before DK. 
West, I've got it on my screen. Would you like me to just jump into the share? Oh yeah, yeah. If you can share, I'll stop sharing and you can jump. Yeah. In. Thank I you, Carly. Sure thing. Okay. All right. Well, um, kindergarten is full day nowadays, um, which I think has been about eight or so years now. Um, and it's a long day. And I'm going to tell everybody it's a very long day at the beginning of the year. And everybody is very happy in January that the children are gone all day. So um, <laughs> it's, it's always this like, oh, they're so tired. And they are. And we are tired too. So at the beginning of the year, expect, you know, I always say by the end of the first week, we're all crying and we all just need a nice <laughs> scoop of ice cream and a movie when we get home. But um, as our stamina builds up, it's an incredible opportunity that we get here in Washington State to have full day kindergarten um, because we have what it grants us is so much time for the kids to learn. So we're not cramming things in at them all day. We're, we have 45 minutes to do a 20 minute activity. So it's really open for all children to um, be have access and be successful. And we have people there to support. So, you know, if you come in not as ready as your as your neighbor, no worries, because we have um, we have lots of time in our year and lots of time in our day to really move from one place to the next. So, and that's really our goal in kindergarten is wherever you come to us, we're just going to move you forward. Um, and for some kids, that's a huge leap. And for other kids, it's a, it's a smaller leap, but everybody leaps and it is just, it's the best year in the whole school um, experience. I hate to say that because it's over um, year one, but it is such an incredible moment to see your kid just blossom as a reader, writer, mathematician. So um, so our day is, is, like I said, it's long, but it is fabulous and fun. Um, we do a lot of community building. We do a lot of work around literacy and uh, phonics and word study, um, tons of literacy activities. Uh, and you can see that we have hours of, for those things to happen. You'll see lots of little books come home that your child has created themselves. Lots of art, lots of, um, you know, macaroni necklaces are not really a thing right now, but, it, but it's all that kind of stuff, bins and bins full of treasures for you. Um, all kindergartners have a PE music or library every day. So you have Right now, our kids go to PE Tuesdays and Thursdays, music Mondays and Wednesdays, and then library on Friday. But everybody gets like a 30 minute, we call it specialist time. And then um, we, they also have recesses. Now, oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> um, we also have a recess and we have every building has a different recess schedule. Some recesses are uh, to 20 minute recesses, some recesses are half hour, but everybody has pretty close to about an hour of outside time. And it is Monday through Friday for sure. Um, and then um, all buildings have breakfast and lunch served um, in for students. So they have an opportunity to eat with their peers, learn all those skills of opening up those little baggies um, and the milk cartons. I don't know what happened to the milk cartons this year, but they're very difficult to open. Um, we're still working on that skill. Um, and then we have a big chunk in the afternoon for math and uh, social skills. We have a lot of time and you'll see every kindergarten class across the district has this play to learn time. And that is really uh, a time for, or for kids just to absolutely engage with each other in some real structured ways, you know, learning to share, but it's all those, those social skills, especially coming out of the pandemic, all those, um, those play dates that we haven't had opportunities to have. Um, that's what, that, those are the skills that we're practicing during that time, how to share, how to disagree with somebody, how to, you know, when we have a disagreement, um, how to make up and what do we do? Um, so, Anyway, it's a really fun, powerful time. It's the children's favorite time of the day. And then we wrap it all up with a closing circle and out the door they go. Um, and I also want to acknowledge this sample. This school is my school schedule. I don't, I'm in a late start school. Um, all schools throughout the district do have different start and end times. Um, mine is the latest, so. <laughs> 
Thank you, Libby. You make me want to go back to kindergarten. Everybody should want to. I mean, I, I take I took a little break from kindergarten for a while, and I'm back, and I just am happy, happy. It's so, so great. Okay, Wes, did you want to talk through DK schedule, or would yeah. you like me to? Okay. You want me to do it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's fun listening to you talk about the schedule. It make it really does make me want to get in there. Um. If you know, if you want to talk to it, go for it. I, I just. Well, I think the big thing in looking at this is you'll, you'll notice that um, this is an example from a developmental kindergarten that the first thing that I want to note is that the times where your student uh, will or won't be in the general education environment is really an individualized decision based on that specific student. Uh, it's something that is decided by talking with uh, the um, preschool teacher this year by the general education kindergarten teacher and the developmental K teacher next year um, and making some decisions. It may start in one place and move. Um, it may, the time will hopefully grow. Um, but one example um, is doing some uh, practice of skills, um, uh, practice of uh, morning meeting skills, bathrooming, signing in, um, and in the morning uh, literacy stations. So the morning would all be, would be in this example is in the developmental kindergarten classroom. Um, you'll see play to learn there as well, which is a little different uh, from the schedule that Libby went over. Their play to learn here is in the morning, um, uh, their uh, recess and lunch time. Um, those times would be with the general education classroom. And then each afternoon in, in this developmental kindergarten, the students go out to their general education classes. They spend the day with their peers um, in the specials that Libby talked about, either library, PE, or music. And then of course, during that free play time, um, again, in the afternoon. Um, so there's lots of time to participate in large and small groups um, in the math and afternoon. Um, then there's a closing circle and, and dismissal. And once again, this is an example of a late start school. Uh, if if um, you're not sure if your school is a late start school, that would be a great question um, to, to ask um, those schools. And I believe um, they will stay the same from this year to next year. Um, that is all of the planned programming we have for you tonight. Um, I, I think we, we talked about this a little bit, but if you have questions about what kindergarten will look in terms of developmental kindergarten or general education kindergarten, that's a great question to ask your current preschool um, IEP team. I really want to stress that parents, you are a member of the IEP team. Um, the, uh, the case manager is kind of the, the person that pulls it all together. They're kind of a project manager of that, um, but they're not necessarily the leader of that, that IEP team. Everybody has a voice in that. Um, so if you have some really strong opinions, um, that's your job as a parent to, to advocate for those um, and then really listen carefully and think about um, where are your students gonna be successful? What are some good times for them to go into the general education classroom and be thinking about that as a, as a starting point, like Libby said. All kids that are five are ready for, for kindergarten. And that's really what kindergarten is about, is taking those kids where they are and helping them move forward. Um, so if you have any questions now, please uh, feel free to put them on uh, the chat or unmute or ask your interpreter to unmute to ask us. Um, and this will just be a time for question and answer until we end. I'm not gonna hear nothing in Spanish. Oh, um, there, um, you need to you you need to select the um, the Spanish interpretation. Um, I do it, but it's, it's, my computer is not going to change it. Let me see here. Um, sure, Elizabeth, do you know? Can you type in if there's a way to do that now that we've already started? I have something in my in my screen like a, the Zoom. We say like a, this meeting is being recorded or something like that. 
Mm -hmm. I try to take it out, but uh, uh, it's like uh, the meeting is is like a down. I don't know. I do not. Are you are you using a Chromebook? Está usando un Chromebook? Yes. Oh, entonces no funciona. <laughs> Lo siento. Oh. Lo siento que no funciona en, en Chromebook. No sabía yo. Is the the computer the the school the the Elmo district? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, uh the the question is uh I think you understand me. Um. Uh, when the star I go to the school for um registration, uh, my son went to school go to kindergarten. He has to wait for uh. September or or after this year is done, like a June. Elizabeth, can I pull you out of the interpretation room for what? Thank you. Okay. Y si también hablo español yo y si quiere um, preguntar en español. Oh, okay. So, ¿cuándo puedo ir a la escuela donde mi niño vaya a kindergarten para registrarlo? O para registrarlo, esta va a ir a, a kinder del desarrollo o de kinder de educación general o no sabe. Um, la maestra me dijo del meeting que está listo para puede ir a uno de los dos. Es como opcional, pero que me va a decir después, pero pueda que vaya al kinder regular. De regular. Entonces no es necesario registrarse en este momento que ya estás registrado um, en, en el distrito como estudiante al um, ICC o de uh, Woodway Center, al centro de Woodway. ¿Sabe usted don, don, quién es su, um, su maestra, el, uh, el nombre de ella? Ro Roxana, Roxana. Roxanne, yeah, Roxanne Barber. Yeah. Um, entonces, uh, yo voy, yo, yo hablo con Roxanne para um, explicar cuáles son los Um, los, las fechas. Entonces el kinder en, empieza en el septiembre, el día 12 de, de septiembre. Ok. Ok. Y no en junio. Ok. Thank you, West. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Uh, the, the, oh, go ahead. Carly. Oh, I was just getting back to questions, but mm -hmm. maybe you're on it. Go for it. So someone was asking, will the preschool teachers know which um, which school your child is enrolled for development of kindergarten? Yes, they will. They'll know um, by May. Our last conferences for um, developmental preschool will be the last week in May. And so you will find out then or earlier. So they'll either let you know then or before. Jennifer, I see a question from you about after school programming. Are you asking about after school care or are you asking about therapeutic programming? Help me understand what your need is. After school care. Yeah, all of our schools have a program called Right at School, which provides before school and after school care for students and, and your child will have access to that and you can register through the, um, the school that you are enrolled in. Not, I'm gonna, not all the schools have at, right at school. Some schools still have Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. um, oh, thanks, Libby. Uh, and a, a variety. And um, my suggestion would be if you needed after school care, call the school and see your, your school that you'll be attending. Check what they have maybe on site. And then like our school has YMCA on site, but we have four other daycare vans that do a pickup at our school. So there's lots of access points. Um, but just every school has a slightly different program there. And if you're thinking that a developmental preschool is a likely option and you'd also like to contact the schools, we can give you a pretty good idea depending on your home school, which is the, which is the closest developmental kindergarten. Any other questions, feel free to unmute yourself or type them into the chat. 
yes, there is information coming about um, about the services, the recovery services for the summertime. Um, and if you give me just a moment, I can find the, the dates for our recovery services. I believe they've been in our um, in the ACC newsletter, but if not, we'll, we will um, repeat them in tomorrow's newsletter. Yes, Woodway Center does have before and after school care. So the summer program for um, extended school year as well as recovery services will be on Mondays through Thursdays, and I'll type this in the chat too. They're uh, Monday through Thursdays, July 11th until August 4th. So that's four weeks right there in the middle of the summer. If you do not have other questions, uh, the, the recording will be um, posted to the Edmonds YouTube page. If you search Edmonds um, School District Edmonds SD, uh, you can you can find the recording of this. We'll also um, be sending out more information next week um, about the need to register for general education or not. Hay alguna otra pregunta? Los que hablan español, si no, esta grabación se va a publicar en la página de YouTube del Distrito Escolar de Edmonds. Ok. Uh, I'll stay on for a few minutes in case there are any other questions. Um, but otherwise, thank you everyone for joining us. We'll end our, our call now and you can log off. We're very much looking forward to you being at, at, in preschool for the rest of the year and also really excited for all the kids that are getting to go to kindergarten next year. It'll be really fun to see folks um, having that experience. So thank you for joining us tonight and have a great night. Gracias por estar.